Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. All right, guys, let's see what we got for you right now. If you like Japanese cars from the 90s, bingo. If you like those weird, quirky looking Japanese cars that were not as remembered as other brands, we're looking at the right video. What we have for you right now, it's a 143 scale resin model 1990 Isuzu Gemini ZZ. Now this beautiful piece of work, it's a nice looking Isuzu from the 90s that a lot of you probably don't even know about. But definitely it's part of history. I remember them because they were sold in North America. Now, these models were sold as Isuzu Stylus in North America, not Gemini. Gemini was called in Japan, and I think in other parts of the world too, like if I'm not mistaken, in Australia, by New Zealand. And I'm not fully sure if this model was ever sold in Europe. Please let me know in the comments below. This is a model that I always loved. I really, really love this model. I think Isuzu, it was a home run. I really like all the Geminis that they put, all the eras, the different eras of the Gemini. They were small cars. They were not nothing special, but I liked them. I'm, I have an eye for small cars. I have an eye for... <laughs> Vans, SUVs, I like every car out there. A lot of people may say, why are you sweating over these little cars? Because they are attractive. I think this model could have done a lot better, especially like in North America. But it was the era that Isuzu was losing a lot of respect because of issues they had um, with their some of their record. Of example, the Isuzu Trooper had a... A really bad um re one time review of a magazine that claimed they were real bad with balancing and they were they could flip over if you turn real hard and that really started messing up the brand as it is and all these cars I think they pay the consequence I'm not sure if this car came out the model came out before but already. Rumors already started roaming, and when rumors started roaming, the vehicles they started not selling as they they should. And plus, I think Isuzu always been more; they always put a lot more effort into their SUVs than into their cars when it comes to sales wise. But it's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. After a while, they actually dropped. All their their sales in cars. I think this is one of the last models in North America they they made as as a car that be, without being SUV. But I think it's that good looking car. Yes, it is a very not attractive looking. Look at those wheels, very very nice. But this is a little bit customized. But I think it's beautiful, beautiful looking. Let me talk about engines. Engines on this beauty, it was um, I'm mean, this is worldwide, and not everything is, depends on your market what they had. But they had a 1.5, 1.6, a 1.6 turbo, and a 1.8 petrol or gas engine. Diesel had a 1.7 um engine. Transmission wise, there was a three speed automatic and a five speed manual. Now, I've never seen these cars as automatics because in the U.S., example, these models were only sold as stick shift. So, unfortunately, we did not have the automatic option to buy one of these. But I think they were really cute cars. And these cars were built between 1990 and 1993. Like I said, they were made as a two-door Coupe. The coupe was the impulse, at least in North America. We were it was called the impulse. It had a three-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. 
the hatchback, it was um, it was like the impulse, but with a hatch in, at the end. So it didn't look so much as the as the sedan. It looked more like the like the impulse, but with a hatch at the end. But real cute cars. By the way, guys, if you look at the car, you see this one has a rear wiper, and that's very rare when it comes to sedans. The saloons you don't see a rear wiper usually in a four-door car so that's unique things that i think is a great idea we they should all have because sometimes they, you know four door sedans for some reason they, they don't have a wiper in there and in the end at the, at the rear window and they they still need it they say because of the way it's, the, the glasses form and it doesn't collect the water as much but I think it does. All right, guys. I'm going to let it go around a few times, and I'll be right, right back. All right, guys. So, do you guys remember this model? Were they sold in your country? Were they actually re are reliable in your country? And do they still have them around? Example, North America, and I speak because that's where I live. In North America, you barely see them. I wish I see more of them because I really like them, but you barely, barely see them. And sad but true. And I love them. Like I said before, I love the style. If I could buy, find one in automatic in North America, I would probably buy it as a classic for me. Because this, I don't know why I always liked the, especially the rear end. I liked it. It just, it was a, a car that really attracted my eye. All right, guys. Don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up. I always appreciate Comment below what you guys think about them. Do you remember them? Do you still see them around? Were they reliable in your country? All right. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And click the bell next to the subscribe button. That will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Take care of yourselves more than ever. And goodbye.